charged it at mcdonald's before we left so that cost us what 24 pound yeah 24 pound 30 something like something like that um so we've got kenzie madison and kadia in the back madison's not feeling great today she's got a bit of a cold typical she was up all night bless her with pains in her stomach um we've got lee good morning nice. good afternoon Afternoon. Whatever evening, whatever it is. Right, so yeah, we're sort of like we're trying to dodge a lot. Of, we're trying to dodge the traffic because it's absolute chaos where we live. There's road closures, road works, you name it. There's problems um, because they're doing this new. What is it? What's it called? This. It, it's a new. Um, is it a flyover or? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a new like link road from the two four nine. Instead of used to come to a roundabout. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. instead of going to the roundabout, it's going to be like right. a flyover that just goes straight over, which is hopefully completed winter uh, winter twenty twenty four. But hopefully that will ease a lot of the traffic um, on this road. But at the moment, it's causing chaos, as you can imagine. Um, I don't know today. Obviously, most of the roads, all the rounds, all around this, are also blocked because of the work. Or oh, the, M shut. the M2's closed, didn't it? Yeah. The M2 uh, London bounds closed. Uh, slip road for was it 17 days? Yeah. So luckily, yeah. we'll avoid most of that because we're not going to be here. Uh, yeah. Quite a bit of chaos. But so everyone's trying to find different way round, and as you can see coming down and the they other can't. way, as you can see coming down that way, that's going back. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's all the way down for another well, you know, a couple of miles. Oh, about another thirty mile. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, it's causing quite a problem and with the M2 slip road to London being closed Whoa. for 17 days it's it's causing quite chaos so this is why we've decided we're going to go down the night before um, and we're going to stay in a hotel about 20 miles from where we're staying um, and then that way in the morning we've got breakfast included and then we just wow. go straight to a holiday don't we? Oh yeah, we've got a new family member. Katie and Jay, do you want to introduce? Louie. Louie. That's her little baby, Weeble. And she loves him, doesn't you? So he's coming on holiday with us too. We only got informed of that, what, this morning? Wow, that traffic's really bad. That traffic's so Look at it. Wow. It's you better not have forgot anything, Kent. I ain't going back. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna carry on with the drive. 
and can I show them? Like, so we've got three hours fifty six, and we're due to get there at five past four. But that's going to be later than that because we are going to have to charge the car again one more time, probably, aren't we? Yeah. Um. So we're just going to see how this car does in the long run, and we will catch up with you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys. So we are. I think we're on the M25, but we might be on the M26. Right. Yeah. I'm we're not sure because Clack we just come past Clackett, which I always believe. Which I believed it was on the M25. M25. Comment below if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, we just come past Clackett and we have hit. Yeah, no. Traffic. So it's M25. M25, yeah. So, I don't know. We're on the M25 or the M26, one of the two. M25, so, M25. M25. What's that say there? I. Is it? No. No, it's the motorway sign. Oh, oh right. So, yeah, we're on either the M25 or the M26, but I'm pretty sure we're on the M25. And this is what we have to contend with. Traffic! <laughs> You ain't at least that for you, one. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we have to contend with, and it looks like it's quite far the down, and the weather anyway. is not looking at all great. It's going awfully dark. Yeah. Um. So yeah, kids are in the back. They're happy. They've got their sweets and their <coughs> iPads and their switches and everything. Blankets and blankets. Blankets. Yeah, that that weather's looking pretty dr grim, isn't it? Yes. It did say a hundred percent chance of rain today. Can you still a flat one to make a little? It's just typical. I got the blame for it this morning. I booked a holiday and Jesus. it's going to rain all week. week. Other than Saturday. Other than Saturday when we're home. Oh, we <laughs> come home on Friday. Yeah, it gets better. It's sunny on Saturday. So yeah, but then um, it rains again on Sunday. Yeah, so we've got literally rain forecast all week. And you got a prat next to me with a roof down. That's because they're in a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's so funny when you see people in convertibles they're driving along and it starts raining hard and then you have to you see you watch them, them on the hard shoulder oh, no, rushing to put in. Oh no, they're putting their roof up now. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're gonna be a while. Um we're gonna have to charge the car again soon. They're lucky they're not supposed to do that. Are they not? Not while they were moving. Most, I think most convertibles, most soft, why don't they do that? Oh, I don't know. Most convertibles, you actually have to be standing still before it will let you put the roof up or down. Mm, I don't know. Unless but, you've got a knack of doing it, maybe he puts it in the neutral and rolls. I don't know, but yes, it's not looking very, very nice at all. So we will catch up with you once we're through this traffic. It's oh, like looking pretty one bad. One lane closed. Yeah, it looks one, like one lane's closed. Three lanes are open. But we'll show you on the map what it's looking like. Without kind of giving away where we're going. Yeah, that's all the traffic. So without giving away where we're going, um, then, yeah. Um, it's looking pretty dire. So we're in this for the long haul, aren't we? Yeah, but the good job is the good, the good thing is we are in the car, so it's electric. So all the time we're standing still, we're not using battery. We're not using anything, unlike the petrol that are still running. Yeah. Um, so, so we've got that as a bonus, and we have got the B button. Um, we've got the B button, hopefully. So that should, when you engage that, when you're in traffic. That should put some charge back into the battery. Doesn't put a lot in, does it? No, not a lot, but like now, as long as you can keep it into the green there, yeah. you're putting charge back in. Yeah. But it's really, really hard to do. You've got to go so slow, it's unreal. We've got 106 miles. Here it comes. So we will catch up with you in a bit, guys. <laughs> the range just started. Absolutely hammering wow. down. We knew it was going to happen because 
And them horses in them as well, look, because they all went under the tree. Yeah. How clever was they? It's, it's weird, isn't it? They get to know stuff like that. Yeah, from being out in the field all the time. Right, but, right. yeah, it's just started chucking it down. So we will catch up with you in a little while, guys. Okay, guys, so <laughs> we have a, a decided to stop off. We're at Cobham Services. A now, oh, uh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Look, we're, uh, I've just got. Uh, I've got loads of photos. Yeah, I thought I was filming, but I've actually got loads of photos of myself and Doing the nothing. floor and a picture of the signboard. Um, we're you at really? services. We don't need to charge the car yet, but we've decided to stop off and go to the toilet yeah. because the traffic. It's crazy, isn't it, babe? Oh, yeah, it's, it's like four lanes out here, and all four of them were travelling at about 20 miles an hour. Yeah. So, that's yeah. We've got to go off in about, what, eight miles? Go uh, off to every yeah. three. Yeah. Oh, we've got Nando. Nando's here now. So, I'll show you some of the bits they've got here. We've got the WH fish. We've got, ah. Uh, What's that saying? It's a pouring. Now we've got. We've got a way with. Yeah, we've got plenty of We've got a quick silver. I'm in an S. I've got a Greg's now. I've got a really bad Yeah. Um, we've got KFC. Greg's, <laughs> Greg's, and then we've got McDonald's over there. So we've just stopped off, we're going to grab, go to the toilet and everything. Excuse me guys, I've got hiccups. I started out of nowhere and then was back in a bit. Okay, so that's that done. We've had a toilet stop. Um, we're about a toilet stop, but it's still it's all still raining. Still nasty. Huh? You got horrible hit up. So that's it, back in the car. Uh, we'll get back on the road. Um what? Kenzie wanted something to eat. No, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I've got stuff in the boot. Oh, well, oh yeah. Because so we have. We brought our own food with us, so even better. Okay guys, so this is what we are contending with. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah, It's horrible. pretty bad. Um, we are, we are on the M3. We've just come on to the M3, haven't we? Yeah. Um, and we've got, 29 miles to go and then we've got to go off so we're hoping by that chance we're going to need a charger aren't we yeah we've got 73 sorry we've got 73 miles need a charger and a raft yeah <laughs> need a raft as well because it's really really chucking it down as you just see so we're going to stop at the hopefully work if we worked it out okay we've got to go off at junction 8 and that is where the services are so hopefully we can charge the car there I'll probably get the kids some lunch there probably makes sense doesn't it yeah at least got your cups I don't believe it <laughs> mine's gone you've got them. <laughs> you just give them to me well share share and share alike you know huh? oh. <laughs> horrible weren't they did yours just start all of a sudden you as well Lee's been eating a sandwich, so his hiccups have just started. I am really tired because we've been up early and then just rushing around this morning. Because as usual, I left everything to the last minute again, like I always do. Don't I? Yep. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too, too bad. Too no, time. most of the, all the cases in that were packed, but the tablets and stuff like that, I just did to the last minute. Because there's no point packing like leads and like chargers and stuff, because the kids all wanted to charge their iPads and stuff. But yeah, I'll give you one more quick glimpse and then we will catch up with you in a bit. Absolutely. Are they on the fastest setting? Uh, I 
Okay guys, so we have stopped again, um, we are just charging the car, um, we was on a charger next to us, um, but we gave it to the lady that's next to us because she was crying and she was, she was really, she was hysterical, bless her, apparently at her brother's in intensive care, um, so, and she was worried that obviously she wouldn't get there in time or something like that so we the other guy went next to her that one she was wanted to use so obviously we've decided to give her that charger and then we quickly scooted onto this charger um show you kind of so we're on 90 Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Obviously, it won't be much further. Um, hopefully, we won't need to charge it anymore before we get there. So, yeah, we'll catch up in a bit, guys. Oh my god! Okay, guys, so we are on the A303, and right I said here. to Lee so just a little while ago, um, I'm pretty um, sure we're, right. we've just we're gonna come we're up to Stonehenge. Through. You'll see it in a minute. You, are, you can't miss it, boo. And yeah, we are just about to go past Stonehenge. I knew we was gonna, I knew it was close to it because I recognised the road. I don't know if it's gonna be um, close to it. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm gonna turn the camera yeah. around. Do you see all the rocks? Yeah. So the Stonehenge kids have just road. had a hinge, hi, hindry lesson. A hindry lesson. <laughs> a history lesson on the way to. Um, Where are we going? Yeah. Where are we going? So I don't know if you can see it in the distance. It's up there on the hill. And that is Stonehenge and it's always busy through here, isn't it? And that is why the traffic is so bad because instead of driving, everyone's looking at Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah, but so you're if you're yeah. going past Stonehenge anytime, think of the poor people behind you that you know want to get through yeah but you're driving spend time looking at yeah but stone. you're driving and i'm not so yeah no you're all right no oh. that's what i'm talking about oh the other people yeah all these people they slow down to have a look at stonehenge and it's like don't do that you're in a car if you want to look at stonehenge pull up get out your car go and have a look oh, a bunch of rocks. you actually have yeah. to pay now to go and look around Stonehenge. I don't know how much it is, I think it's about £15 pound for an adult. And £10 you have to for pay dog. to look at a rock? Yeah, you have to pay to look at some rocks. I can go um, to Blackpool and look at rock and it won't cost me a penny. <laughs> there you go guys. Stonehenge. You have to pay £15 or £20 pound to go and look at a bunch of rocks. But, alright, it's magnificent. It is a... Uh, it is history, but when you've seen it once, yeah, that's it. It don't really do anything and doesn't move, does it? So there you go, guys. There's Hone Honehenge. Oh, for God's sake, I can't talk today. Stonehenge. Um, so we are 64 miles away from our hotel. I thought that was it. <laughs> we've no, you've um, got to say, you've got cheap. <laughs> we've charged the car twice, um, but we ended up kind of aborting the charge when we got to 95% because it just didn't seem to be moving and it dropped to 2 kilowatts and it was just like, nah, just so, what? so slow. But we had 142 miles when we started again and we've now got 89. So we should get down there on this charge and we should get to our destination tomorrow on this charge and then we can charge it again tomorrow. Um, but we've probably spent around 50 pound, would you say? Uh, it's, it's about fifty pound between the two of us um, charging the car. Not. But I'll have a look up and see how much Stonehenge costs. How much is it to go over that side of the road? And 
and I'll get <laughs> I'll get Lee to insert the prices of Stonehenge. Get off the you outside of the road, you nutcase! Did you get a motorbike? Oh, and you can hear, hear like Lee obviously having a go at the motorists. I'm like, no, 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 no. Now the motorists for a change are doing the right thing. It's the stupid motorbikes coming down the middle. Oh, fair enough. It's not even funny. I can like here. I've got a van in front of me, mm. and if I had a lorry in front of me, and that idiot was coming down the middle in a you motorbike, see him. I wouldn't have a clue he was there. No. I suppose he's got a point, but... Idiots. Is, yeah, idiots. <laughs> but the traffic's much worse on the other side of the road, going back past Stonehenge the other way. Um, yeah, it is now, because now they're looking at Stonehenge going the other way. We're past but it. Like, like Lee said, once you've seen Stonehenge, once you've seen it before, but you guys haven't seen it, so that's why I showed you. But yeah. Um, they might have done. Huh? They might have done. No. Yeah, they might have done, but we haven't showed it in our videos. Oh, right. That's what I, I mean. I was going to say, how do you know that? <laughs> oh my God, he's doing my brain in. <laughs> you get tired? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. All right. Positive. Catch up with you when we get to the hotel, guys. Okay, guys. Hello again. We here we are. We are in the hotel, but unfortunately, um, we have a slight bit of bad news um, at the moment. So we've been told we've not officially had this confirmed because we've had no emails, no text messages, nothing. Um, we've arrived at the hotel where we was going to be staying tonight. Obviously, until tomorrow. Um, we was going to be keeping the destination a bit of a surprise, nothing fantastic, nothing special. Uh, we was keeping it a surprise until tomorrow um, when we got there. We was going from here. We're at the moment we are in Taunton in Somerset. Um, we was going to be going to Butlins at Minehead. We've unfortunately just arrived only to be told that it appears with the bad rain and the weather that they've had today this part of the coast has been absolutely battered with torrential rain which as you saw coming up here we did have issues with rain on the motorway it was quite bad um but in fairness um they should have expected it they knew it was coming um i did so we've just been told there's another couple that booked in earlier on today. They've travelled up today as well, and they're staying at the same hotel. Now, they've received an email to turn around and say that Butlins has been shut down. Um, we still haven't been told anything. Um, we've just looked it up on the local news and it's even it's on the news that they've had to take the nasty decision um, of having to not just shut it for today, they've actually shut it for the next four days. So from the 18th to the 22nd or the 23rd, I think it was. Um, so unfortunately it doesn't look like we're going to be going anywhere tomorrow it looks like it's going to be a trip back home but like i say we haven't had that confirmed in writing yet i think louise in a minute is going to try phoning uh, minehead and try and find out what the situation is but we was just having a general chat downstairs and we said, oh, well, maybe if it comes to it, we'll travel from here and we'll try one of the other sites, one of the other parks like um, Skegness or Bognor or something like that. But apparently the staff downstairs somewhere said, you're wasting your time there because they're both fully booked as well. Um, so we haven't even got that option. So at the moment, we don't have no clue what we're doing. As far as we're concerned, we haven't even been told anything yet so as far as we're concerned it's still open um we've not been told any different so i think louise is going to try ringing see if she has any joy all right we'll have to wait and see what they what they say um, on what we do next Luckily, I know. okay so i'm probably not going to try ringing because it does say on the article that their phone lines are busy um yeah. extremely busy and i probably won't get through 
So I've not, I'm keep checking my emails and refreshing it. Um, no, this is what I said. We've um, not had nothing come through. If I, uh, even if I go and do a search. If you look on their app. On their app, I've just gone onto my booking. Yeah. And obviously by covering it up. Well, I don't know, it, that, that's all right, it doesn't matter. Covering up my thingy. Does it say it's still no, valid? Yeah, there's nothing there and it's telling me it's where. It's not saying it's been cancelled or. No. No, there's nothing on there. To say. See, so this is a silly thing. We've not had we have six upcoming activities. Um, there's nothing on there to say that it's cancelled. So Which I really don't know. So how have these other people been told, been turned away, and told that obviously they their holiday's been cancelled, and yet I'm trying to we ain't. We're on, not online at the moment. Ah. Yeah, there's nothing on the Yeah, app, so either. that's the that's the issue as it stands. Yeah. That's where we are at the moment. But I'm refreshing my emails and there's nothing. Yeah, obviously if we hear any more um, between now and the morning, um, we'll let you know. We will obviously we'll let you know as soon as we know. Put it on my head. Yeah. You, so it was supposed to know. be kind of yeah, it's and having three autistic children. It's not easy. No. Is it? Madison obviously. She's already fretting. Yep. Mad Madison she says she's was fine. Almost in tears downstairs. Yeah, Mad says she's fine, but we know what Mad's like. Just because she says she's fine. What's that? She's. Put your coats on. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, they're just seen it. Look, we're, we're hangers on the wall. It's either a climbing wall. <laughs> for kids, no, yeah. which I can't Mad, imagine. Mad says she's fine, but yeah. she's not. Anyone that knows. She said just keep me updated, but you can see it in her eyes, she's devastated. Gutted, yeah. Um, and anyone really who knows autistic children know that's going to be, that's a big, especially when we've come all this way and ain't told us. It's well, we're going to stay here tonight. We've paid um, for it. We've, we've still got, it, we've got breakfast in the morning. So at least after that drive, I think the least we need is to get our head down and it yeah. um, get some sleep. I ain't going back tonight. No. Nah. So we ain't lost out with the hotel because we were going to stay here either way. So, but yeah, unfortunately, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with um, battling. So unfortunately, guys, yeah, other than the surprise that we planned um, and the way we, we wanted know, to yeah. tell you, um, we've had no option. Um, it may even end up that you may not even see this video. Um and I may even cut all this out if things do change. Um, but I can't see that being... Well, but we'll, yeah. we'll, either way, um, we're going to freshen up. We're going to get I'm going to get a drink and that. Louise is already yawning her head off, bless her. It's been a long day. Yeah, you've had supping with hiccups as well. They took it Twice. out of you, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she had them in McDonald's. Um, because she was trying to eat her food and then all she kept doing was hiccuping and then well, choke, yeah. almost choking her. Worst case scenario is we've got a bed for the night and we've got breakfast included in the morning. Exactly. So we've got a nice breakfast before we travel home. Yeah, but hopefully we can sort something <laughs> out. But it's only 20 miles down the road, so I'm probably just going to go down there. And, and it made it worse. I even had an argument at McDonald's. <laughs> on the way up here, oh, obviously, yeah. and that seems like now a bit of a wasted argument. I, they turned up, we was there, in the middle of eating our meal, now we're parked in a disabled bay, where we're, we're allowed to, because we've all got blue badges, me, Louise, uh, Madison, uh, all got blue badges, so there ain't a shortage of them. No, I don't have one. Oh, she did have, Just yeah. Um, and then a delivery lorry turned up from those, and they wanted me to stop eating our food to go out move my car out of the disabled bays so that the lorry could park across all the bays and do their delivery and i quite politely and then they said that told him it wasn't happening and so he said he was going to block me in so i beat him to it because i went to the car obviously obviously being electric it was quicker for me to get it started I just jump in, press a button, it's ready to go, and I backed up, and then I sat in front of him. Um, so now I've blocked him in, so he, ain't, he wasn't going to block me in. But it was just the principle. If they'd have turned around and said, look, how long have you got? If we'd have turned around and said, oh, we've literally only just got our food, 
I may have been a bit more polite and a bit more willing to cooperate. But we had about, what, not even like five minutes left of our meal. Yeah, we we was, most of us were pretty much finished, weren't we? I've had a couple of drinks. I was just finishing my bag. Yeah. Um, so all I turned, so I turned around and said to her, I turned around and said, well, we're still eating. I said, so I said, I'll move here when we're done and we're leaving. And then, of course, then the mafia comes out because she went back behind the counter, obviously, and got <laughs> and got the little girly manager. manager which was younger than both of us put together. Yeah, younger than both of us put together. Was only just about bigger than Kadia. <laughs> um, and she thought she was going to bully me, um, which obviously she found out the wrong way as well. But I don't, I don't understand that. If you're in a disabled bay, they should have combed them off. You know, combed it off before anyone gets them, so they don't have to go through that situation. And people like me or anyone else out there with disabled badges, they don't have to go through that hassle. But either way, it's all done and dusted. Um, we will speak to you either later on, um, or we'll, you won't see us again, or we may say goodnight just before we go to bed. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning, guys. Yeah, we'll try and keep it up to date. We'll. Uh, those of you that can, um, we will put updates on our Instagram. Um, we've also got, we don't use it a lot, and we're going to have to start using that more. We have got the Facebook page for our channel. Uh, so just look, if you ain't already, um, on, you don't call it follow, do you? You call it... Like. Well, on no, yeah. that, can they message on there though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go to our Facebook page. Um, put a comment. You know, we'll, we'll put comments up. We'll try and keep you updated as best we can. Um, but until then, we will see you later. Say bye bye. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, here we are. We're back again um, with an update. Um, unfortunately. The update isn't unfortunately a good one. We are still, we can't get hold of Butlins via, which I think is pretty shocking, really. In, so you're in a situation, yeah, considering, they've closed, they've closed yeah, the phone lines. Yeah, considering everything that's going on and the amount of thousands of people that would have holidays booked and have to have them cancelled, we've tried to ring them. And all their phone lines are closed until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, you can't email them. There's no way of getting in touch with them whatsoever. So there is a form, but we had to we want hunt yeah. for it to try and find it. And so we've not been notified. We still at all. no, we've still not been notified. Constantly not a phone out. call, not an email, the, nothing. Got a text message. Yeah. So we are gonna we're gonna we paid for the night here anyway. So um, I will show you. Just I will have a quick room tour. Quick room tour. Because really that's what we always do. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, this is as far as it's going to go. We are going down because it's only about. What is it, 15, 20 miles from here? 21 miles. 21 miles from here, which is nothing really, to be honest. We are going down there to Sputlings tomorrow in the morning mm -hmm. because at the very least, we are mm -hmm. going to see, we're going to have a go and see what they're going to do. Because, all right, they've offered a refund for the break. That's fine. But really good of them. Take? One, we don't know how long that's going to take. Secondly... That doesn't cover the price of this, like tonight, two rooms, two rooms for tonight here, hundred and thirty-four pound. Now, if they, if Butlins had done the sensible thing and had let us know before four o'clock this afternoon, we could have one, we wouldn't have even been half. Would have been halfway up here. We could have just turned around and gone back, but we also wouldn't have been charged for these two rooms either. We could have just gone home and as long as you don't but as long as you don't cancel after four o'clock, you're not charged. So we could have get our money back. There's also what how many stops did we do in three stops? Two. 
No, two. Two and a bit of a charge, wasn't it? No. No, we no, didn't. didn't. No, two no, stops. Um, yeah, and then a food stops. break. That's right. The car, then we went to... Yeah, so there's two stops. So they were about that's 25 right. quid each, give or, give yeah, or take. About 50, so that's pounds. 50 pound in electric charging the car to get up here. And then bear in mind, we've now got to pay that again, which we would, we would have done when we went home at the end of the holiday, because luckily with Butlins, anyone that's been there, as you know, once you're in there, the car wouldn't have moved. It would have stayed there for the whole four nights and we'd Sorry, have just we paid again when we went home. But we've wasted, yeah, we've wasted £200 and eight hours um, driving all the way up here. Um, and the worst part is, is other than the people downstairs on reception, if they hadn't have said anything, we been, still wouldn't have been none the wiser. It's only what um, you mentioned, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, We're going so, back Lynn's tomorrow and she went, like that. And I was like, what? And she was like, um, another guy come from quite far away and he's had his break cancelled. He was ringing around trying to get somewhere yeah, else. But... We can't go to, we was looking up the opportunity option of going to one of the other parks. But unfortunately, Skegness is four and a half hours away from here and fully booked. Bogner, which is their only other park, is two and a half hours, which we thought, ah, oh, that's not so bad, but that's fully booked as well. So we can't mm. even pick a, another break. We don't really like um, Bogner, do we? No. Nah. Unfortunately, and... Madison's taken it pretty well, badly. Yeah. Um, she's trying not to let it show, but you can mm. see, you can see deep, deep down, it's, it's upset her a lot. Um, yeah, she was looking forward to it, wasn't of she? Of course, like it has all of us, but we're not so bad. But we are going down there tomorrow. Um, we are going to... To be demanding answers. Kick. Why we've not had yeah. notification. Why we've not been told any of this, we've which I think is pretty disgraceful for a company that are breaking in that amount of money. Like I said to Louise, even if they'd have gone through their list of who's due to be coming for this four-night break, if they'd have gone through the list... First things addresses. first, pick the furthest people away, inform them first. Mm. People that are just like living 20 or 30 mile away, they're not going to mind just going back home again, you know? But get the people that are over nearly 200 mile away, uh, they should have been informed a lot earlier, and we ain't been informed at all yet, still. To mm -hmm. this day, and I will let you know in the morning if we do receive anything. But so but far, so far, no, no. Thank no. you for charging your car. Um, that was the last one we got. So nothing. So yeah, um, pretty pretty disappointed. I will put pictures. Um, we have got some pictures. I won't try and show you on like like that because it's going to look really odd and really bad. But we have got some pictures of Minehead, um, and in fairness, it is pretty bad. Um, what I thought when I, I sat there, well, it can't, surely it can't be that bad. It is, it's, it's really bad. I will put the pictures in around here somewhere. Like all so, the water looks like it's like a lake. Yeah, all the grass looks like a lake and everything, doesn't it? So, so all the ducks are swimming in it. Yeah. So what we'll do, I'm going to go towards the front door and I will show you around our comfortable abode for the night. So, so obviously when you come in, you you've got your, latch. Yeah, you've got your temperature there. Um, same as anywhere else, you've got your, you go. got your card. You've got your air conditioning operating instructions, which is good. I haven't seen my, a lot of places they forget about that. Got your emergency escape route, which is pretty easy from where we are. Um, we come this way, and you've got uh, Katie or Jay, but she doesn't come with the route. Um, you know, you've got a wardrobe-ish thing. It's actually quite a big. It would be quite a big room um, if it wasn't that we had the other beds or the sofa put into a bed. So we've got a nice little desk area. Uh, nice big telly, I'm impressed with that. Obviously I, I can't show you outside because it's dark. Um, we've got a fold out bed. 
Show you, little fold out bed, and then we've got telephone to get in touch with uh, reception. And room service. Yeah, and room service. And what's the good thing with the Wi Fi, Dad? It's free. Yep, absolutely free of charge. All Wi Fi, and there ain't even a code, which mm -hmm. is cool. Um, so, obviously, as you can see, Louise is making herself. I'm just checking through my junk emails to yeah. see if there's anything from buttons, but there's nothing. Nah, she's Literally making herself nothing. comfortable. Excuse the drugs if you see them on the bed. They're not what they look like. <laughs> they are prescription medication and they're all mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've got the bathroom. Katie loves this bit, didn't you? Yeah, I know, it's a bit odd. So, when you come in... So, you have the door to shut the door. Yeah, so you shut the door. Which means that you've got you've got the lock, so you can use the toilet and the shower and all of this facility here. But the weird part is, is the toilet's there. Use this door. Yeah, use that door to go in. So you've got a door to so lock in the toilet. So if someone's in the shower, but you're right. You're absolutely right. so. If someone's in the toilet, they've got a nice door. But yeah, if someone, someone happens to be in the shower look, at the same time as someone's in the toilet, you are going to see everyone in the shower. <gasps> because that door only goes there and uh, there. Oh, this is a nice door. And there. Huh? Oh, it's got a nice folding door. But it's a nice big shower, though. Oh, a dove. Mm -hmm. Dove hand wash. Yeah, dove hand wash. So, yeah. It's, it's quite nice. It is, it is a nice room, but that's just a bit odd with that door there, that if you're in the toilet and someone's in the shower, you can only do one or the other. Mm -hmm. Or lock the whole room off. So... Yeah, there's, nothing, there's literally nothing on it. No, I guess there wouldn't be. See? This is the weird part, guys, because we've just gone on, or Louise has just gone on and looked, and look, it's even got, I don't know if, how well you can see that, but it's, it's even got all our room number, what room it is, and everything is all still there. So, technically, by that, our break is still active it's not been cancelled or anything there's nothing on there to tell you that it's been cancelled well, if, it if we do get down there tomorrow guys and it is cancelled then we will be doing this again we'll just yeah have to rearrange it yeah, yeah. it'll just be about a week maybe an extra week for extra on so with that guys unfortunately we sorry we have to end on a bit of a sour note i'm gonna get little um, man to bed we are going to get little men to bed and we're going to go to bed. Um, it's been a long day. Isn't it? Yeah, it's been a long day. So we will see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. It doesn't cost any of anything at all. And if you don't like us, um, unsubscribe yeah. again. But uh, subscribe and follow our channel yeah. to see our updates. Of, and also follow our Instagram. Yep. Yeah. And our TikTok. TikTok and um, yep. Facebook page. Yeah, we will actually start <laughs> using that Facebook page a bit more. We actually forgot we had it, to be fair. <laughs> so, you it, but, didn't you, or something? Yeah, so we don't forget to stay safe, stay happy. And with everything that's going on, we'll try and do the same. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.